people don't know how to buy Bitcoin. So you can buy Bitcoin on an exchange. You go to something like a Coinbase. You can trade your dollars for Bitcoin. Yeah. Or you can go to something like swanbitcoin.com, which only sells Bitcoin. Mm. You can buy it, um, you know, like um, large amounts there. You can also set up like recurring monthly or weekly uh, withdrawals from your bank. And they'll, every day, they'll buy $20 oh. worth free every day, blah, blah, nice. blah, whatever, okay? Um, so you buy them wherever you want to buy them. However, like I mentioned, you want to get the wallet, you want to have an address, and you want to take it off of wherever you're buying it, and you want to put it on your address so that you're protecting it, and you're not trusting some other website to hold your fucking shit. This thing will let you create an address. Wherever you buy it, will say, oh, you want to take it out? Okay, tell me your address, put it in there, that's it. Sends it to you. You have it. Okay? Mm -hmm. This thing will tell you you have it. And you can go online and search the blockchain and put in your address and you can see it's fucking there. You have a small password to get into your wallet mm -hmm. and then your wallet holds your long, long password. Mm, okay. Okay. So, so if you're a criminal and the government catches you and you have six Bitcoin in your account and your Bitcoin address, they cannot get it unless you give them your password. Okay. So, so this is the wallet. Okay. So yes. Yeah. Like, so for example, you may not know my Bitcoin address. But if you come across my wallet mm -hmm. and I have my password for my wallet, like with it, okay, that's all you need because you'll be able to plug this in Bitcoin. and put in the password and you'll see all the addresses that are, mm -hmm. on, that are on here and then you can send it to another address if you want. Obviously with this thing, when it's on here, you want to make sure nobody can find this thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the password, you want to make sure nobody can get it, How, whatever that means to you. Another thing people do and something that I did also and I lost Bitcoin on is there are services where they will loan you money for your Bitcoin. So you say, oh, I'll give you one Bitcoin, okay? And they'll go, okay, cool, one Bitcoin's worth 50 grand, we'll give you 25 grand in cash, okay? So I took that 25 grand and I bought more Bitcoin, right? But when you do that, it's called um, trading on the margins or taking a loan against it. If the price goes down in Bitcoin, they can start to liquidate the one Bitcoin you gave them. Right. So don't you don't fuck around with that. <laughs> you just hold it. Okay. You just hold Stop it. Stop being greedy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The greed. <laughs> the Bitcoin doesn't like greed. It will punish you. There's also accounts that'll be like, oh, if you give us your Bitcoin, we'll give you 10% interest a year or 15% interest a year. Okay. That's cool. But again, if they get hacked and someone steals that Bitcoin, it's gone. So is it worth the 10%? No. To maybe have it all lost, you know, so you don't want to you don't want to fuck around with that, right? Um, and again, like we said, you don't want to leave it on the exchanges. Okay, so uh, What people in the Bitcoin community say is hodl hold on for dear life mm -hmm. So that's what you want to do. You want to make sure you hodl your own coins. You want to hold your own coins Don't try to take loans out against it. You could get fucked Don't try to get interest for it because they get hacked and you can get fucked and um, don't leave it on the exchange because they can get hacked and you can get fucked, okay? So you buy Bitcoin, you need to buy a wallet. 